All right, this is video one of the flame test lab. I got a Bunsen burner going, and then I have a test tube with a solution in there and a stick that is soaking in there that I will use to uh, change the color of the flame. Um, what I've got here, my first compound that I'm going to use is KNO3, which is potassium nitrate. You may need to pause the video so that you can write down the chemical formula and the name of that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a stick that has been soaking in potassium nitrate and I'm just gonna put it in here into the flame and we can see it changes it into a purplish color. Let's see if I can get a little bit more a light purple color and that's characteristic of potassium okay our next one that we are going to do is srcl2 which is strontium chloride strontium chloride turns the flame a red color. I can get a little bit better. A nice deep red for strontium. Okay. Next one up is KCl, which is potassium chloride. Potassium, again, is going to be sort of this purplish, this very light purple color. Next comes LiNO3, which is lithium nitrate. And again, you may need to pause the video so that you can write down the chemical formula and also the chemical name. Lithium does more of a fuchsia color. It's got a little bit of an orange in there. It's red with a little bit of an orange color and that's lithium. Next is sodium nitrate, NaNO3. And sodium goes bright orange. And then the last one for part one of our video is copper two chloride. Make sure that you have the two there for the copper because copper changes its charge. So sometimes it's a plus one, sometimes it's a plus two. So you have to indicate whether it's a one or a two. So you gotta have the copper two chloride there, okay? And copper two goes in here and we get this lovely green color going, okay? And that will be it for video number one. So go ahead, pause, get your stuff situated, and then we'll come back and do the last six. Welcome to part two of our flame test lab. Again, I've got my Bunsen burner going, and we're just gonna jump right in here, okay? Our next compound is copper one chloride. Again, you need to make sure that you illustrate that you've got the copper one. This is different than the other one that we did. So it's copper one chloride. And here we go. And we're gonna get a nice green color. Okay. Next one, copper two nitrate. And again, this one's copper two. Cu parenthesis NO3 parenthesis 2 is the chemical formula. Copper 2 nitrate. And 
And this one also turns the flame green. MACL, sodium chloride is next up. Just plain old salt and sodium turns it a bright orange. Strontium nitrate, SRNO3 in parentheses with a two on the back side, strontium nitrate. Turns it a nice deep red color. Next one. Fe parenthesis NO3 parenthesis 3 iron 3 nitrate. This one's got a Roman numeral of a 3 there. That means it takes on a positive 3 charge. Iron 3 nitrate. And this one, when I put it in the flame, as you can see, it really doesn't do anything. Sometimes there's a couple little sparks that happen, but it doesn't do anything to the flame. So there's that's a nothing, that's a dud. And our final one that we have here is LICL, which is lithium chloride. And lithium, is this lovely fuchsia color. It's got a little bit of an orange, a reddish orange color to it. And that is lithium. And that completes our flame test lab. That's all 12 compounds of, that we needed to test. So go back, write your chemical formulas and your names if you need to go back and make any changes and then go through and answer the questions that you need to do. Um, please ask any questions that you may have and good luck.